Last weekend in worship, we heard about the Good Shepherd. And the last verse from John 10 that we heard was the verse where Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Do you know what the next verse is right after that? The next verse says, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. There's a story I've uh, told a lot through the years. From early on in my ministry, when we lived in rural Kansas, there was another uh, pastor not too far from us who, who uh, she and I used to drive to pastor's gatherings together because there's a lot of miles in Kansas in between things. And, uh, and she had a new car. Sometimes I even got to drive it. It was, it was fun and fancy. It had all the bells and whistles. And one of the things I remember is that it talked to you. It was one of the first cars I was aware of that actually talked to you. So if you forgot to put on your seatbelt, it said, fasten your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelt. And if, if uh, you were running out of gas, it said, fuel is low. Fuel is low. And I was so excited when I got to drive that fancy new car. And one day she showed up. We were going to a pastor's gathering. And she had a different car. And I asked her why. And she started telling the story of how she was driving along a gravel road, a back road. And when you live there, you get used to the gravel roads and you can zip right along. And as she was zipping right along, all of a sudden, a dog ran right in front of her, right across the road. And she swerved to miss the dog. And she missed the dog, but when she did, she went right to the edge of the road. And then she caught the lip of the edge of the road and went down a little embankment and spun around and the car tipped over so that she ended up upside down. She had her seatbelt on, so she was okay, just bumps and bruises, but she was hanging upside down in her car that was there by the side of the road. And of course, the gas went from the bottom of the gas tank and her car started talking to her and said, fuel is low, fuel is low. And after that, after she was okay and back in her congregation, what the people kept saying to her again and again is, you know what, if something runs in front of you on the road, don't swerve to miss it. It's just not worth it. And it reminds me of the sheep. From the point of view of the shepherd, is it really worth it that a shepherd would die for the sheep? I mean, it's a nice idea, but if it comes down to you or the sheep and you're the shepherd, is it really worth it? But we're the sheep. And from the point of view of the sheep, it is amazing good news that there is someone who would even die for you. In fact, Jesus did die for you. And then rose again that you may have life abundantly. We are living through difficult times. As we live through this pandemic and death and sickness and grief and loss and all the things in our lives that are different from what we're used to, it is amazing good news to know that right in the midst of the pandemic, right in the midst of the uncertainty, right in the midst of the unknown, there is a good shepherd who will even lay down his life for you, loves you that much. That's good news. May you live in response to that good news. In Jesus' name. Amen.